Hello and welcome to the Harrow College virtual open event. We will just give everyone a couple more minutes um, before we officially begin. I suggest making sure that you've got a pen and paper to hand or your phone so you can take down some notes and any questions that you might have. We will also be giving you some contact details on how to get in touch with us at the end of the webinar. Right, so hello and welcome to our first Harrogate College virtual open event of the year. As I previously mentioned, it might be useful to make sure that you have something to write with or your phone to take down any information or questions that you might have. So my name's Alana and I am the school liaison officer for Harrogate College. Together, my team and I work with schools, colleges and other education settings across the whole of Yorkshire. Our job is to help you guys make an informed decision when choosing your post-16 options. We are more than happy to give you any information, advice and guidance about the different opportunities on offer. So today I am joined by one of my colleagues, Maisie. Hi everyone, my name is Maisie and I'll be answering the questions that you guys are asking today. Please feel free to ask as many as you want in the chat box. Thank you, Maisie. So if you do have any questions, you can pop them in the chat box on the right hand side of the screen. If we don't get a chance to answer your questions um, over our question breaks, we will email you your answer this week. Um, so do ask any questions that, uh, that you might have and we will be in touch with you. So the chat box at the side is completely private. So only myself and my colleagues will be able to see your question. So I want to assure you that Harrogate College is following the government guidelines. We have implemented a range of safety measures to help keep our students and staff safe whilst they're on site. We have split the campus into different zones. Each zone has their own entrance and exit. All students and staff are in their allocated zones and bubbles as well, and mixing with other zones is easily avoided. We've had hand sanitizer stations built in throughout the campus and also a one-way system to follow. Students and staff are required to wear face coverings whilst in communal areas unless they are exempt. But please note that these measures are only in place due to the current circumstances. This might change depending on government guidelines by next year when you do come into college, but we will always keep you updated. So now I'm just going to play a little video um, from our principal, Danny. I'm Danny Wild, I'm the principal of Harrogate College. Welcome to the Harrogate College Virtual Open Evening. The intention of tonight is to paint a picture of what is on offer at Harrogate College to support you from progressing from school into the next stage of your education to ensure that when you leave us you're progressing on to an exciting career or higher level of study. Our mission at Harrogate College is to provide life-changing opportunities through high quality education serving our community. Our values at Harrogate College are to be progressive, which is about supporting people and places to be ready for the future, to be nurturing, to support everybody to reach their potential, and to be inclusive. Everybody has a place at Harrogate College from wherever their starting point is to then work with them individually to reach their potential. At Harrogate College, we aim to be the provider of choice for technical and vocational education for people of Harrogate District. That includes a really broad and varied offer which goes from our level one qualifications for those who are just looking to enter into their vocational areas right through to master's degree levels in creative arts. Um, our courses are about reflecting the needs of the community and that includes the labour market across Harrogate District and North Yorkshire. So that was just a little message from our principal, Danny. So where are we? Well, um, we are located in Hornbeam Park. We are only a short walk away from Hornbeam Park train station, approximately four minutes. If you don't get the train though, other forms of public transport is within walking distance from the college with a 36 bus stop located near Marks and Spencers on Leeds Road. The 36 bus runs from Leeds to Ripon and comes every 20 minutes. There is also a large car park on site as well, which can be used by staff and students who hold a parking permit. You can apply for one of those at the beginning of the academic year. So here you can see the different course levels we have to offer at Harrogate College. And um, we do have courses starting at entry level going all the way up to level seven. I'm just going to focus on up to level three at the moment, but I will explain higher education and adult courses in more detail later on in the presentation. All of this information is relevant for all of our courses there. 
So the level that you are put on is dependent on your current experience and your grades, and they will differ slightly within each department area. So entry level, there are no formal entry requirements for these courses. Level one are typically three to four GCSEs. Level two are typically three to four GCSEs at grade four and above. And level threes are five GCSEs at grade four and above, including English and maths at grade four or five. But if you don't get the grades um, that you wanted for English and maths, they will be integrated into your chosen course. So we have a variety of different courses available at Harrogate College. You can see all of these on the slide now. Um, we have a mixture of classroom-based and practical learning with other subjects such as art and design, carpentry, etc., focusing mostly on practical-based learning. We also offer alternative courses such as foundation studies. This is where you will learn the skills that you need for the workplace. It will help build up your self-esteem and confidence as well. And we also have ESOL courses. This is where you'll develop on your English reading, writing, speaking and listening skills. So now I'm going to pass over to Maisie to answer some of the questions that we've been getting through. So over to you, Maisie. Thanks, Alana. So our first question here is, can I get help with travel? So yes, we offer financial support to anyone that might need it. In order to claim this, we will look at your personal circumstances and household income. You will apply for financial support once you have enrolled onto your chosen course. Our second question here, can I park my car at college? So as part of our green strategy, we do prefer you to use public transport, cycle or walk to college. The train station and bus stops are very nearby as well. However, due to the current circumstances, we understand that you might feel nervous using public transport. If you do need to travel to college by car, though, you can apply for a parking permit for our car park by talking to reception staff. The college will always ensure that permits are available to those students that need it. And we'll go for one more question. Do I have to wear a uniform? So Harrogate College students don't have to wear a uniform. However, some students will have to wear certain clothing for their courses. For example, if you were doing a cookery course, you would need to wear chef whites. And if you were doing motor vehicle, you would need to be wearing overalls. And that's all for now, Alana. So I'll pass back to you. Thank you, Maisie. Thanks for answering those. And thank you for sending through your questions. Keep them coming. So now, like I said previously, um, Harrogate College offers courses from level one going all the way up to level seven. These are equivalent to university courses. Um, so you can see on the screen now the higher education courses that Harrogate College has to offer. Higher education courses are level four and above. Again, these are all university levels. These are not to get confused with further education, which refers to college level courses. If you are interested in these courses, Maisie's gonna pop a link in the chat box now to our online prospectus for you to have a look as well. Um, but please note that these courses that you will study are after sixth form or college level courses. So as you can see on the screen now, these are our adult courses that we currently um, are offering. They are designed for adult learners who want to upskill or take part in our hobby course. They are, um, these courses are full cost part time courses. They also might run on an evening as well. So adult courses are for 19 plus students only, so 19 years old and above. If you are interested in studying any of these courses, this would be after you have completed college. And um, if you are wanting more information about these courses, please go check them out on our online prospectus that Maisie's put in the chat box now or get in touch with us using the contact details at the end of the presentation. So here at Harrogate College, we have a multitude of industry standard facilities. Students are able to learn in real world working environments and gain much needed skills in order to progress further. Here you can see just a few of our facilities. On our site, um, we have a salon that runs both as a place to learn with modern industry standard facilities and also as a commercial salon that is open to the public. We also have some fantastic art and design facilities, including ceramic studio, photography studio, and also a computer suite with maps so that students can use the most up-to-date software. These facilities are currently helping to guide students from level two all the way up to a master's degree. So you can see some more of our fantastic facilities here. Our top quality industry standard kitchens 
are equipped with demonstration benches and bays, sinks, cooking equipment, ovens and hobs. We also have our bistro that is fully equipped uh, training kitchen as well as a functioning bar. It can typically seat 30 plus customers and uh, sometimes more on a theme night. Um, our technology center is fully equipped with a working garage, workshops for our construction, electrical installation and carpentry courses as well. We also have a state-of-the-art science labs that are supporting students who are studying from a level three program right the way through to a master's degree. I'm now going to play you um, a little clip and it will show you all of our facilities that we've got at Harrogate College. enjoyed that video of our facilities. So now I'm going to move on to apprenticeships. So in addition to our vocational courses, for those of you interested in working and learning, an apprenticeship is the way to go. This is where you will have a full-time job whilst also working towards a qualification. Our apprenticeship starts at a level two, going all the way up to a degree level. Um, we do have a very strong apprenticeship provision here at Harrogate College and we work very closely with employers across the Harrogate district as well as North Yorkshire. 
So you would usually be expected to be in college one day a week while studying your apprenticeship. This would be where you will work on your practical skills, your theory work as well with your tutors. If you are resitting maths and or English, you would also be expected to attend these lessons as well. We have an, S, an, an assessor, sorry, uh, that works for the college and they will come out um, to visit you and also check up on your progress, see your portfolio work as well. Your wage can differ depending on the organisation that you're working for, but this is something to discuss with your employer. So on the slide now are the different apprenticeship offerings we currently have at Harrogate College. If you are interested in studying an apprenticeship, even if the subject area you are interested in doesn't appear on the list on the slide, please get in contact um, with us using the email address at the bottom of the page, including the subject that you are interested in, and we will try and find the best course available to you. The email address is apprenticeships at harrogate.ac.uk and Maisie's gonna pop that in the chat as well. So now we're gonna have another question break. So keep um, sending your questions through. I'm gonna pass over to Maisie now and she'll start us off. Thanks Alana. So our first question here is, what is the average wage for an apprenticeship? So £4.15 is a government's minimum wage. However, it's up to the company how much they want to pay at their apprentices. We have seen some apprentices get paid up to £18,000 a year. Our second question, could I apply for both a vocational course and an apprenticeship? So we recommend that it's a good idea to apply for a vocational course first, as it can sometimes take time to acquire an apprenticeship, especially under the current circumstances. Once you are successful in being offered an apprenticeship, you can transfer from your vocational course onto an apprenticeship. And our last question, how many days a week will I be at college? So if you are doing a vocational course, on average, you will be in college between three to four days a week, but it will depend on what course you are studying. If you are doing an apprenticeship, you would usually be with your employer for four days and then in college for one day a week. I'll pass back to you, Alana. Thank you for that, Maisie. And thank you for those questions that are coming through as well. Keep them coming. So now I'm going to move on to how to apply. So there are many different ways that you can apply for a course at Harrogate College. You can apply directly on our website. If you are struggling with your online application, you can also contact the college either via email or by phone and we will help you out. For the eagle eyes watching, you can also spot a couple of QR codes on the slide. Um, to open up these links, just open your camera up on your smartphone, hover over the code and then you will get a notification to open the link. It will either take you to our website, which is the top right hand code, or our online prospectus, which is the bottom right hand side. Um, usually um, students are also available or um, able to apply on site at our open days and taster days. But due to the current circumstances, our events this year may be virtual and similar to this one. You can follow us on social media to get any up to date information about any future events that are coming up. Applications for the new academic year, so that's 2021 to 2022, are open from the 3rd of October. So just make a note of that. Um, so what to expect at an interview? So after you have applied for a course at Harrogate College, our admissions team will be contacting you via email, call or text to book your interview. Some courses are using Google Meet for a virtual interview, but we'll keep you updated if this changes. Be sure to give us your personal email address as well and be sure to check it regularly for any updates that we send over. The interview process is nothing to be afraid of. It's a great chance for you to get all the information you need about your course. It is also a great way for your tutor to ask you a few questions and get to know you and find out what type of person you are. You will only be given an offer for a course if you have attended an interview. We do look at students on an individual basis as well. So seeing them and seeing your personality shine, shine through is always a bonus. So now I'm going to talk about enrollment. Usually enrollment would happen from GCSE results day. So this would be where you bring in your GCSE results or any other exam results you might have. Also your ID as well um, to Harrogate College. You would then meet with the tutor and then they would sign you up to college. So this is when you would officially become a Harrogate College student. Um, enrollment next year will depend on the current circumstances as with everything, but we will always keep you updated throughout the year. 
There is still time to join Harrogate College for this academic year. So if you want to join for this year, so that's 2020 to 2021, um, applications and enrollment is still open until the 6th of November so if you are interested uh, don't hesitate and get in touch with us. So now I'm going to pass back over to Maisie for some more questions that have been coming through so over to you Maisie. Uh, so we've had a question here can I apply for college using my phone? So yes you can you can actually apply for a course on any device that has an internet browser and is connected to the internet. Another question, how many courses can I pick slash apply for? So you can actually apply for as many courses as you like, but only apply for courses that you are interested in doing, as you will be asked for an interview for any course that you, you have applied for. You'll need to decide which course you want to study by enrolment, as you can only do one. And we'll go for one more, how will I be assessed? So when you're doing a vocational course, assessments are done in varying ways depending on the course. Students are assessed by a combination of practical assessments and written work. There's more coursework and practical assessments than exams for vocational courses compared to doing A-levels at sixth form. If you are resitting English and maths, you will have exams for this as well. So I'll pass over to you, Alana. Thank you, Maisie. Thanks for those answers and thank you for those questions that are coming through. So I'm now going to talk about the student life. Um, we offer a wide range of support for our students and your mental health and well-being is our utmost priority. All staff at Harrogate College are trained in mental health and well-being first aid and are on hand should you need to speak to anyone. We have a college counsellor and all students are assigned a pastoral attendance lead or PAL. Um, they can make referrals to other services if a student needs extra support. So our teaching staff are constantly growing and developing, ensuring that they are reflecting what workplaces need and expect. Once completing their course at Harrogate College, students are then able to progress onto university, apprenticeships or the workplace with the confidence and the skills that they have gained through our curriculum. Students can also receive advice and guidance on careers and progression from the tutor or our own independent careers advisor as well. You can arrange to have one-to-one -one meetings or also group sessions. Besides your main, uh, your main program, you will also have one hour long sessions where you will build up employability skills such as CV writing and also general life skills. So students also have the opportunity to be a part of the wider students union within the Luminate Education Group. You can get involved in activities, clubs, societies, as well as going on trips with your peers and the wider Illuminate Education Group. Harrogate College students also get to go on many trips throughout the year. These include shows, exhibitions, residential trips, and you might even have the opportunity to take part in competitions. But again, this is due to the current circumstances. It might change, but we will keep you updated throughout the year as well. So Harrogate College um, also offers financial support to anyone who might need it. In order to claim this, we look at your personal circumstances and household income. You can get support with things such as meals, childcare, travel expenses, equipment and residential and educational visits. So once you have enrolled, this is when you will apply for financial support. For more information about what Harrogate College has to offer, please do visit our website. So we are very, very, very proud of our current and past students. And we just wanted to tell you about some of the fantastic success stories in student destinations. Harrogate College students go on to a mixture of destinations, such as studying an apprenticeship, getting a full-time job, or progressing onto university. Here you can see both Chloe and Annie, our cash level three childcare and education diploma students. Both of these students successfully completed their course, achieved an A overall and, uh, um, and secured a place at university. Annie also received a scholarship to progress onto her chosen course as well. Here you can see a couple more case studies. After completing her level three two year extended diploma in performing arts, Jasmine went on to work as a performer on the cruise ship P&O Ventura. Shortly after this, went on to managing and producing shows based in their Cyprus resort. Poppy is also um, able to receive ongoing training and develop her skills and knowledge after securing employment and living accommodation at the New Hilton Spa Majestic Hotel. 
Um, last year, all of our students studying level three extended diploma in art and design and foundation art and design course who applied for university got their first choice. Um, it is amazing to see our students progressing onto higher education and also in the workplace. It's really great to see what pathway they are on as well. So as I said before, if you do want to stay up to date with what's going on at Harrogate College, you can follow us on social media, on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We will be posting updates about the college, our students and how we are working under the current circumstances as well. We will also keep you up to date with any events that we have coming up as well. So put this date in your calendar. Um, as I said earlier, applications open on the 3rd of October for the new academic year, so 2021 to 2022. We are able to apply, um, accept applications throughout the academic year, but it is in your own best interest to apply as soon as possible as courses can fill up fairly quickly and we don't want you to miss out and be disappointed. Our enrolment for this academic year, like I said earlier, is open until the 6th of November. So it's not too late to apply for a course and start now as well. So now I'm going to pass back over to Maisie, who will um, start off answering some of the questions. So over to you, Maisie. Thanks, Alana. So we've had a question through here. Do you offer careers advice for students for university pathways and courses slash employment? So you can actually talk to your course tutor or coaching tutor for general advice on your progression. You can also book a careers appointment with a careers advisor if you want more detailed information about your progression options, such as university choices and employment options. Another question here, can I take part in volunteering whilst at Harrogate College? So you can do volunteering outside of your course hours. If you are interested in volunteering, talk to your tutor and they will let you know what opportunities are available. Right now, we are currently working on a project to get students to write letters to cancer patients in hospital. We are also working towards helping a young careers group to support them with confidence and public speaking. Not only does volunteering help your local community, it's also a great way to enhance your CV. And we'll go for one more before I pass back. So are interviews scary? So they're not scary at all. It's just a general chat to see how you learn best and to see if the course you have applied for is suitable for you. It's also a great practice for you if you have a job interview later on in life. It's not scary at all and it's nothing to be worried about. So I'll pass over to you, Alana. Okay, so I've got a few questions as well that I'm going to uh, answer. So one question is, is the college a professional place? Um, so yes, it is an old myth that college is for people who aren't academic. The courses we do here are great training for the future. Um, help you with jobs in the workplace, apprenticeships, higher education, uh, and so on. And the tutors are trained professionals in their fields as well. You will get the best possible um, education from them. Another question here is, do I have to pay for an adult course? So all of our courses are full cost part-time courses. This would be discussed with you when, you're con um, when you contact us about being interested in one of our courses. What you pay for the course will depend on your circumstances, which will always be taken into consideration. This is something to discuss with your tutor. And the last question that I'm going to go for is what's a T-level? Um, T-levels are new courses which follow GCSEs and are equivalent to three A-levels. These two-year courses, which launched in uh, September 2020, have been developed in collaboration with employers and businesses so that the content meets the needs of the industry and prepares students for the work and um, further training and or study. Um, if we didn't get a chance to answer any of your questions today, we will email you your answers. Um, we're just going to finish up now with some contact details. So here you can see the QR codes on the right hand side again and also some email addresses. Due to the current technical issues, however, please use the email addresses that may be popping into the chat box now if you are wanting to get in touch. If you do have any college queries and questions, as well as questions about apprenticeships as well, please contact contactharrogate at collegehome.org or get in touch with myself and the team. And um, All you've got to do is contact school liaison luminate at collegehome.org. So thank you so much for asking questions. I hope we managed to answer all of them. But again, if we didn't, we will email you your answers later on in the week. Um, 
if we didn't get a chance again, don't hesitate to get in touch using the contact information that may be put in the chat box. So thank you all for watching. I hope you found this event useful in understanding what Harrogate College has to offer. Enrollment is still open for this academic year until the 6th of November and applications for next academic year open on the 3rd of October. We are forever changing and growing as a college, helping students get the most out of their education and gain the skills that are recognised within their chosen industry. So be a part of our journey and succeed in a path that is right for you. Thank you again for joining. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.